I played this clip for you the other day, right? Um, where Dana White um, made this really petty um, little sizzle reel where he kind of dunks on all the media figures and podcasters and whatever talking heads who were very negative about UFC 300 before it happened. And obviously now that time has passed, we've all known that, you know, UFC 300 was probably one of the greatest cards of all time. So Dana White was basking in the glory of it and decided to remind people of what they said prior to UFC 300 in this really funny video. What's up guys, as we rolled into UFC 300, uh, the MMA experts weighed in on what they thought of UFC 300. And for all the fighters that were on this card, when I said this is the greatest card ever assembled in the history of combat sports, this is what the media thought of you guys. UFC 300 makes no sense. Is any fight on this card 300 worthy? No. This is the most diabolically disappointing UFC 300 announcement ever. It so you saw that, right? So then I made that video. It obviously went semi-viral. It was fucking hilarious. Look at who decided to dunk on fucking Brendan during this whole thing. I'm super surprised because I always consider Steve will do it as like a Logan Paul, Jake Paul adjacent. I know he's more of a Nelk boy, but kind of in the same sort of category. You know, those kind of guys that do content and gamble and do vlogs and whatever. He went hard after fucking Brendan. Look at what he writ on the fucking post as he quote tweeted it dana white is a top tier human brendan Schlott shob brandon shob actually he says brandon shob you're a fucking goofball i thought you were a former ufc fighter you failed at comedy and you can't even talk ufc right brandon shob is a loser <laughs> punto yo steve will do it with hard why the fuck I, like i don't even i don't know much about steve will do it outside of again of the nelk boys and him getting i think he's banned on youtube i don't know what for particularly he doesn't really have many hot take opinions maybe something dummy did on stream um he's obviously been around he's i think he's on kick now he might be back on youtube as well he gives out money you know the standard you know content creator thing but i didn't know like you know i just assumed those guys were like brendan fans those like nelk adjacent guys but this Steve will do it guy clearly is not a fan of Papa. This guy is definitely a, a hater. But the funny thing about this guy is that he makes a lot of money. He's very braggadocious. So Brendan can't say that this guy is a homeless cat or he's like a Cheeto finger living in his parents' basement thing, right? He, I think he gave his assistant a fucking Lamborghini recently, right? So he's got a ton of money and obviously flexes it and shit. I think he gave his, his agent a fucking, is it a, a Lamborghini or something? I think I saw it somewhere around here. Let's see if I can see it here. It was like a, it was like a some crazy supercar he gave to his assistant. Yeah, there we go. Look at this. Surprise sketch with a Lamborghini. Whoever fucking sketches. Big up sketch, by the way. What a fucking life, isn't it? So this is the video of him allegedly giving his fucking, you know, assistant sketch a Lamborghini. He's got fucking watches that he's fucking flexing obviously living the life this video and give me your honest opinion on if you want me to keep making these videos and if you want to make x the new youtube youtube was my everything and they just fucking psh, you know there's this saying go where you're wanted not tolerated that is x so fifty thousand dollars like retweet and quote it and give me your honest opinion by the way spoiler alert the assistant is not a woman for those of you asking in the stream chat the assistant is not a woman i repeat the assistant is not a mujer. The assistant is, no, it's not a mujer, it's, it's a mujer. <laughs> Should I keep uploading? It's not a uh, chica, it's a chico. Every it's not a hombre, it's a hombre. Other week, Tuesday at 8.30 Eastern. It's not a tia, it's a tío. Guys, we're gonna go see Sketch right now. The story is this kid's Sketch. <laughs> I saw a video of him saying that. What I get, what I like to do is when I go and use the restroom, when I have to go number two, is I parlay it with taking a shower. So I never really have to wipe my ass. I just get in the shower. I love him. I love <laughs> Sketch. We're gonna get him a watch from Neil Time Peace Trading. Neil Time Peace Trading, the reason I'm filming this here, I wanna give Sketch a watch. By the way, am I the only person who thinks these jeweler watch guys are all scam artists? I don't know why. Why do I think all these guys that travel around with these content creators who do, who do jewelry, who sell watches, something tells me they're all selling fakes and shit high-end fakes by the way but fakes nonetheless 
Am I mistaken? Watch, but also Neil Timepiece Trading, one of the best people ever. If I lose 200 grand with the bookie and I don't want my mom to wire money because it's like, that's irresponsible gambling, he will wire it. That's my brother. He's done yeah. so much for us. So. Anyway. Oh, what well, he said, uh, Joe from Maria said, this dude is from Oviedo, a suburb of Orlando, um, upper middle class. So what, Orlando as in Orlando, Florida? Okay, cool. Makes sense, isn't it? Him and Bert are very similar. It, so everybody from Florida likes to drink drink alcohol then, everyone from Orlando. Because whenever people post a picture of Bert, they always say he's very Floridian. So maybe that's a part of his personality. Maybe the beer thing is Bert's culture. Maybe we shouldn't be insulting him about it. That's part of his DNA. He's from there, isn't it? He's, that's what Floridians do, right? Just drink and go crazy. Yeah, this guy's always here for me. Uh, if you guys need to watch, it's Timepiece Trading. The best. I love you guys. Oh, we're giving away $50,000 to one person that likes his retweets. But we're also gonna get 50 to my number one employee ever for being the most loyal motherfucker in the world. Nelson. Let's bring Nelson in here. All right, Nelson. Senor. So he's giving his assistant for fifty thousand dollars in cash. He gives the other, the, the sketch guy, a car, a Lamborghini. Let's see it somewhere here. Let's scrub across. All right, sketch. You ready? I'm ready. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back you up here. Back up. Do not look. What's going on, bro? Do not look, sketch. You're very. <laughs> Do not look scared. That's a great way to put it. Big up uh, James. Big up James Hathaway Art. Big up James Hat uh, Hathaway Art. Let's be real. Most jewelry guys are just full-time devil dust and Rolex replica salesmen. Mm, is that, I knew it. I knew it. Big up Fyodor. I had a feeling because I remember when I was looking into buying a watch, I discovered the world of high-end reps. Same with sneakers. There's a high-end rep industry of watches. And even jewelry, there's a there's a level where you can get the jewelry to look really good. You just have, it's kind of weird because I guess if you've got money, that the, the thing because I think the replica watches, the really high end ones, are still several hundreds of pounds or thousands. If you have really good high quality Rolex that will look legit to the regular person that doesn't really know much about watches, but if you would spend a thousand pounds on a replica Rolex, why not just save and get a legit one? You know, that's the kind of thing people would think. But obviously, if you want to stunt, <gasps> sorry, sorry. If you want to stunt or you want to sell, it makes sense. But I always thought those guys that carry briefcases full of watches and shit are kind of scammy. I don't know what it is about them. There's just too many available at one time. All that inventory, all that money, you know, tied up in watches. You're not trying to liquidate or cash out. It just doesn't make any sense to me. You know, you're carrying around what, like two mil worth of stock that you just wait into some rapper to buy or some like gambler to buy it just i don't know it just seems a bit sussy to me yeah, i know you have fucking six eyes no i'm not looking how does those eyes can you oh, see they're closed brother all right close your eyes brother all right sketch remember that that clip when you said when, when did you realize you have movement since birth since birth you're gonna have movement forever brother i think you're very special and i'm glad to be friends with you so, dude, I love you. I love you. This then, is my guy here. This is my guy here. And this is your Lamborghini here. Dude, you're oh fucking God, hot. Dude. You're fucking hot. Dude, no, seriously. Yeah. Chin hasn't got a Lamborghini, has he? Chin hasn't got a Lamborghini. Chin doesn't have one. Chin doesn't get $50,000 $50, in cash just for being a nice guy and helping him out, does he? Chin should get this. This is what Chin should get. Chin should get this and more for holding down the whole T-Fat K and the whole of Thick Boy during all their fucking ups and downs. He's been the one constant, ever, the one constant. Ever since Evan the Beard left or Evan the Beard couldn't leave with them, had to stay at Fox. Chin has been the one constant, the one person making sure the lights are on, everything's uploaded and titled, whatever it may be. This is what Chin should be getting, but he doesn't get this. He hardly gets even a thanks. He doesn't even get a birthday present. Sanaz had to get him a birthday present the other day. Sanaz, a new employee who's only met Chin or who's only known Chin probably less than a year, got Chin a birthday cake, you know, or something symbolizing a cake and probably a gift or probably a hug and a card or maybe a little Amazon gift card. But Brendan and Brian couldn't give him anything. Figures. What the fuck is going on? Let's go! Oh, Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> no way! You're fucking with me. <laughs> like it dude you're but are you this is a video game right now we're living g come 
I'm dead. You this is it. my motherfucking dog here. Again, this could be a tax write-off thing. This could be a scam. Who gives a fuck? It's just a symbolization of it. Anyway, all this to say, Papa can't call this guy a loser because you know what, Brendan? Brendan only cares about material things. Sorry, Brendan's very materialistic. He only cares about material things. So Brendan can't call this guy a loser. He can't call him a scrub. He can't call him a hater because he makes money and does his own thing. But this guy clearly isn't a fan of Brendan. And I didn't know this. I didn't know this guy wasn't a Brendan fan until he decided to quote Dana's tweet and quote, Dana is a top tier human. Brandon Schaub is a fucking, you're a fucking goofball. I thought you were a former UFC fighter. You failed at comedy and you can't talk UFC right. Brandon Schaub is a loser. Then he follows it up with another tweet with a screenshot now where it says Brandon, Brandon Schaub, even I'm saying Brandon now, podcaster, he quotes it and says, imagine being a former UFC fighter and you get introduced by Dana White as a podcaster. LOL, Brandon Schaub is a loser, right? Continues again, Brandon Schaub, more like Brandon Schlob, hashtag loser. <laughs> I, I can't wait to hear what Brandon says. He won't reply because, you know, he picks and chooses his fucking battles. But what a fucking dude. What a fucking dude. What a fucking dude. <laughs> oh, this guy is so bad. Yo, Brendan has haters everywhere, isn't it? On the sly. People that watch the... F That's the thing, that subreddit, the T5K subreddit, has a lot of, you know, subscribe... So what would you call it? Has a lot of... um. It's quite well followed or whatever. I don't know what you call people that join a subreddit, whatever. 100, 120, 120,000 plus homeless cats on there. But it's so popular. There's bare people that just check it out and ghost, like ghostly. They don't even join. They just dip in and dip out. Because mad people are aware of Shrubanese, are aware of Brendan in general, that probably don't never post on there, aren't even a fucking, don't even have an account on fucking Reddit. But they know about Brendan. They know about Brendan. They know about Schwab. Fucking crazy. So unfortunately for Brendan, Steve Will Do It is not one of the guys. He's not one of the 100. He's not a fan of him. And he continually dunked on him in that little video there. What an absolute legend. What an absolute fucking legend.